Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video I am going to talk about a behavior known as mouse follows focus, not to be confused with focus follows mouse, and how you can set different mouse follows focus behaviors in Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. So what is mouse follows focus? Well, if I go to the right, you can see here that my cursor moved to the center of this window. If I focus and go to the left, my cursor automatically moves back to the center of this window. And this behavior is what we talk about when we are referring to mouse follows focus. Now, this might not be natural behavior for anybody. So if you don't like it, it's very easy to turn off. You're going to go into your terminal. You're going to type Komorebi C mouse follows focus dash dash help. And you have here everything you need to turn this behavior on and off. So we have only two possible values, enable and disable. We're going to pass disable. So where is my mouse right now? Right now my mouse is here, just over the Windows terminal. So if I focus up, you see my mouse stays exactly where it was. You go to the left, same thing. Mouse stays exactly where it was. Yeah, tiny little change, but this may just stop you from going crazy if you're not used to the mouse follows focus behavior. If you would like to make this permanent, all you have to do is open up your Komorebi configuration file and somewhere before the end, before this complete configuration command, you just have to put that very same command that we just typed in the terminal. Mouse follows focus disable. So nothing is going to happen now because we have already set this change, but we can validate that this is working by stopping Komorebi. And close out this window. We can minimize this. We can do Komorebi C start. And once this has started up again, the behavior that some of you will prefer, I'm guessing you prefer it, which is why <laughs> you're watching this video, um, that behavior will now become the default. So my mouse is once again over the Windows terminal. When I focus to the right, my mouse stays here over the Windows terminal. So that is it for the tutorial part of this video. Before I leave you, I would like to direct your attention to the sponsor page for this project. If you are an individual, if you love using this software, consider sponsoring the project. Even if it's only for a dollar a month, it makes a very big difference to me. If you are somebody who uses Windows for work, if you and many of your fellow engineers or colleagues are using this software, consider speaking to somebody at your company about sponsoring this project as a company. This could be your engineering manager, a VP of engineering, maybe even the CTO. But if you find this software useful and valuable, yeah, consider sponsoring. <laughs> Uh, that is it for this video. This is the end of the video, and I hope you all have a very, very nice day.